It's time to go down to the field of play for those athlete introductions. It's time for bronze here in the compound women's individual at stage four of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. So athlete introductions done. Andrea Bithera of Mexico takes on Sara Lopez of Colombia. Chef, one name. Who's going to win this? Um, I'm inclined to say Sara Lopez in this one. Well, in some respects, the pressure is off completely for Bithera. Pressure's off Sara Lopez as well because she's already qualified for the finals, but she is on home soil and she'll be desperate to be on that podium. Yes. I think there was also a bit of pressure in the last match, um, being um, old versus new guard maybe. Where, yes. um, of course, Sarah has been uh, the undisputed number one in the world for so long. Uh, and Ella has just kicked her off her throne. Um, maybe she wanted to prove people wrong, or uh, um, yeah, she wanted to prove that she is still well up there. Um, so I think that maybe put some extra pressure on her shoulders as well. Yeah, there was a bit of a bit of a wiggle in that shot, um, and she knew that was going to go there. What a start from the Colombian. You just see a little bit more movement in Bethera. As you were saying, Chef, uh, she does get away with a 10 in that case, but uh, the 9 beforehand, you could almost see not only the, the instant effect it had on her, impact on her, but you could almost drill into those thoughts thinking, I can't drop any points against Sara Lopez. Yeah, not if uh, if Sara is uh, shooting like she can shoot, um, and and yeah, it seems like she is uh, uh, back on competition uh, or back in competition shape now. Uh, the last match against Ella was actually really impressive. Uh, of course, she had that end of uh, 28 points, but uh, I have to admit that the rest of the match was pretty, pretty, really good. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly was, and I think you're right. You're starting to see that, just that that air of confidence about her with her shots. She seems calm at full draw. Uh, there's none of the the nerves and the, the the dipping of confidence that she talked about when she was interviewed by us uh, ahead of the Paris World Cup, which she wasn't competing in. Good to see Lopez back. She's leading here, so it will be Andrea Pithera to start end number two. There's a, a lot of body uh, language when uh, Pithera is shooting, but uh, I think it's it's just part of her style. Um, I don't know her that well, so I don't know if, uh, if she always does this, but it, it does seem to come naturally to her. So it's not necessarily that when the bow is thrown around it's a bad shot, I think it's just a, a reaction to where her pin is uh, at the moment of release. And you're talking about you know, micro movements at this end of the shooting line making much bigger differences at the other end. Yeah, that's essentially uh, what's happening. So the scope in the in the compound side uh, has magnification in it so it's it's easier to see how far you're drifting off of the center of the target um, and then the release uh, goes off in an instant you have to react to that or not if your side is in the middle so yeah there's a lot more uh, movement going on typically 
um, than with a, a recurve bow where you can have subtle steering movements uh, compared to this compound. Arrow flying at between 80 and 100 kilometers an hour faster because of the mechanical aid with a compound bow. But uh, I'll tell you who's flying faster here. It's Sara Lopez, that's two 30s in a row. She's looking at absolutely stunning form again. Yeah, this is what we've uh, what we've come to expect from Sarah, um, and maybe that's also what was such a heavy toll on her mentally. Uh, that this is what people expect her to do. All smiles here in Medellin, though. She's here right at home. Tercera serie inicia disparando Andrea Becerra de México. Becerra, though, just a couple of times has shown it. A little bit of deep thought about what it is to lose each single point. And let's face it, she's not done too bad. 229s, but it's been perfect so far from Lopez. And number three, and Andrea Pithera sets up again. I said before that uh, Becerra, uh, were, like, even though she's only 21 years old, uh, she has racked up yes. quite a lot of experience already. Um, for Sarah, this is basically her second home, I think, the, to be on a finals venue. I yes. just did some, uh, some calculations and um, World Cup stages only, uh, including World Cup finals, she has 41 medals Ready. combined. So... I think that's more medals in the first place than uh, I can remember being on the final stage in the first place. <laughs> yeah, she's a prolific, yes, isn't she? And she is on fire here. She's not dropped a single point. Two dropped in that end by Bethera, and uh, the gap opens up to four points. Lopez is back. Yeah, I mean, I've written down on my notes six times Hyundai Archery World Cup Final Champions. And, and she's unique in that respect. First athlete to ever do that. And the only athlete to have done it so far. And then I've got written on, on my notes too many medals to, to tell the audience about. Just, just prolific. Yeah, a match is typically only like 15 minutes long. And I don't think we can, uh, we can fit all of her accolades in 15 minutes. <laughs> Not a chance, not a chance with Lopez. But if you're interested, have a look on the World Archery website. There's uh, brilliant athlete profiles there. Go and search Lopez and uh, make sure your printer's full of paper if you want to print off her profile because uh, it goes on for pages and pages and pages. So women's compound semi-final are done and these are the losing semi-finalists going for the bronze medal step of the podium. It's a winner takes it all kind of situation and Bethera is trailing by four to Lopez. Yes. And you have to feel a bit for uh, uh, Bethera right here. Um, since she is actually shooting quite well um, but she's just shooting against a yes. Uh, Sarah Lopez with a point to prove. Uh, I really have the feeling that Sarah is standing here uh, for an exhibition match uh, to to show what she can do and what she is uh, what she's yes. capable of doing. So it's uh, it almost feels like an unfair matchup, but that's just the the shape that they're both in right now. Yes. Don't say it. Now, the middle arrow there set up for a measure, but we both think that that's uh, a perfect score. So, 116. Is it going to be another perfect score from Lopez? Yes, it is. That is number four in a row, and she's on 120. Uh, we think that uh, Bethera is on a 116, Chef. You agree with that? Yeah, I think that uh, middle arrow uh, was in but from our 
point of view at least. Yeah, we're not in the best position to see those targets uh, where we're sitting, but uh, that's what the target judge is for. And we will wait, as does Andrea Bethera, that uh, measure on that second arrow. But nonetheless, can't but marvel at the performance so far in this bronze medal match. For Sara Lopez, she is still smiling. But I've told Chef not to say it. I'm sure you all at home are thinking the same thing. Can she do it? Can she do it? Well, it's on the cards. It's on the cards. Fifth and final end, the, the athletes are really kindly offering each other the best of luck going into this. Bithera trailing by four, will shoot first. Yes. Solid 10 to start. Yeah, again, she's shooting a really good match, actually. Uh, it's just not a great match in that sense. Just at the feel of a little slightly longer hole, just ever so, ever so slightly. But in the 10, in the middle of the target as well. Yes. Good stuff from Pithera. Yes. Well, I don't know about you, but my heart rate has gone up a couple of notches. And a perfect, a good finish from uh, Andrea Bethera. The match is over, but can she do this? Yes, she can. That is a perfect 150 for Sara Lopez. And she's done it here in her hometown, in her home country, Medellin, Colombia. Sara Lopez is back. <laughs> Chef, uh, honestly, my heart rate did go up then. I'm just thinking, can you do it? Can you? You're just urging the athletes on to do that. Uh, a 150 is such a special thing on a podium. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is special on a podium. It's special in the first place to shoot 150, uh, especially for uh, the women. And it must be special for Sarah, as she was the first woman to ever shoot a 150 in a match. So, um, And if that one arrow is called in, that they're now looking at, from, I think, uh, she might have equaled her first world record. So.